software from companies like Adobe, Microsoft and others can be quite pricey, especially those with monthly or yearly fees that can add up over time. In this video, I'll show you three other side to those popular programs in five categories, all of which are available for Windows, Mac and Linux. As an added bonus, we'll even show you free alternatives to Windows and Mac OS nearing the end of this video. All of that more coming up on Nafi Tech. Darktable is the best free alternative to Lightroom with a ton of features to improve a photographer's workflow. Unlike GIMP or Photoshop, which are raster graphics editors Darktable allows for non-destructive editing keeping the original image data until finalized. It also includes tools to keep your images organized and easily searched by parameters. Using virtualization software like VMware is a great way to try out other operating systems and software in a sandbox without doing harm to your primary system. VMware Workstation for Windows and Linux is one of the most popular with pricing that starts at $149. And for Mac OS, the name of VMware's product is called Fusion. The pricing for this also starts at $149. The best free alternative for VMware Workstation and Fusion is VirtualBox. It's available for all three of the major platforms Windows, Linux, and Mac. While they do provide a user manual, it can be quite difficult for newbies to get started. We do have a beginner's guide for VirtualBox as well that will help you out using Ubuntu as an example but you can use just about any operating system that you want. If you're looking for high-quality video editing software, you have many choices. Final Cut Vegas Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro are a few of the most popular. Using Premiere Pro as an example, it lets you work with any file format at transitions and special effects and edit on unlimited tracks. The pricing for Premiere Pro starts at around $21 per month. A comparable free alternative to Premiere Pro Final Cut in Vegas Pro is DaVinci Resolve. It offers multicam support transitions, color and audio correction along with everything else you would need to edit and trim your videos. In addition, DaVinci Resolve is also a great free alternative to Adobe After Effects. It lets you create high-quality visual effects and motion graphics. They have two versions available DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio. DaVinci Resolve is the free one. It includes just about every feature you probably ever need. When working with scalable vector graphics, create logos, icons or any other type of professional quality vectors. Adobe Illustrator is what many people use. Just like many other Adobe products, Illustrator will set you back around $21 per month. The best free alternative to Illustrator for creating vector graphics is Inkscape includes a ton of features for object creation and manipulation. These can be filled with solid colors, radial or linear color gradients and patterns, all of which are compliant with the SVG format. Inkscape does have a steep learning curve. Thankfully, they do have tutorials on their site that will teach you how to use it. There are a ton of free screen recorders available, but you have to be careful what you choose. Most like Bandy Campbell slap a nasty watermark on your recording if you use their free version. The best paid screen recording software right now is Snagit and it includes a ton of tools to capture your screen. Its cost is a one-time fee of around $50 with a $12.50 annual maintenance fee to upgrade to the next version without paying the full price. The best free screen recording alternative to Snagit is OBS Studio, which is what I'm using at this moment to record this segment. After you get it set up, it's easy to use and includes a number of useful features to record and stream on second places is Twitch, YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. Their community forum is a great place to get help with any of your issues. And if you're just getting started, we've also got an OBS Studio beginner's guide that will help you as well. If you're into 3D modeling, Maya from Autodesk has long been the industry standard for 3D computer graphics. It's been used for video games, animated films, TV shows and movies. It's not cheap either, Maya will take a bite out of your wallet at $215 per month or 17 per year. By far, the best free alternative to Maya for creating 3D computer graphics is Blender. It's been around a long time. Its initial release was way back in 1994, and has been free and open source the entire time. Blender is no slouch, but many users saying it's now better than Maya has just about every feature and tool you would ever need and has been used to make full-length animated films. When you get started, check out their support page, which includes a user manual tutorials and links to the various communities associated with Blender. Audition is yet another overpriced product from Adobe. The software is a multi-track audio recorder, mixer and editor that's becoming more popular with podcasters. Its pricing is around $21 per month. The best free alternative audio editor to Audition is Audacity. It's been around since the year 2000. 
and quite frankly, it's so good that there really is no need to use a paid product like Audition with Audacity can record audio, import, edit and combine sound files remove noise includes hundreds of effects and you can install plugins to enhance its functionality. If you need a video converter to compress or convert it to a supported file format, there are a bunch of paid ones to choose from including Unit Converter from Wondershare. Its pricing starts at around $40 per year. A great free alternative to those paid video converters is Handbrake. We've been using it for years and it fits all of our needs. It supports most of the popular codecs such as H.264, H.265, AVC and others. The built-in presets make it really easy to convert any file type and export up to 4K. You can also customize the output by altering the bitrate, maximum file size or bitrate and sample rate via constant quality. Now for our bonus category, the most important software on your computer is the operating system. And if you're looking for the best free alternative to Windows and Macos, you'd want to go with one of the many Linux distros. The big advantages to using Linux is there are no upfront or built-in costs to use it. No forced updates, invasion of your privacy, and you have less of a chance of getting a virus or malware. If you're brand new to Linux, those I'd recommend for beginners include Linux Mint, a boon to Zorin OS, and Elementary OS. Many Linux distros will ask for donation on their homepage to support development, which is not necessary, but appreciated. For example, with Elementary OS, you want to kick the tires first, go to pay what you want, and in custom type 0.00, and then click on download Elementary OS and get it for free. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you know of any awesome free alternatives to expensive software not mentioned, let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest free software and other tech-related stuff here on Naffy Tech.